Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to learn to avoid some very important mistakes, so let's get started. First, this is not correct. If you're interested in speaking English as a native speaker without any mistakes, continue watching this video. In this case, I cannot say speaking as a native speaker. If you're not a native speaker and you're interested in speaking similar to a native speaker, we cannot use as, we have to use like. So it's correct to say, if you're interested in speaking like a native speaker, without any mistakes. And keep watching this video for a complete explanation of the difference between as and like. But first, this is also not correct. In this situation, I cannot say speak fast as a native or as a native speaker. I have to use like, because in this idea, the person is not a native speaker. We have to use like in this case. So it's correct to say speak fast like a native speaker. But what about fast as? Can I say fast as? Sure, but it has a different meaning. And we need another as. We need as two times. As fast as a native speaker. This has a completely different meaning. It means to speak the same speed as a native speaker. But that's not what she's trying to say. It should be speak fast like a native speaker. But let's talk about the structure. As fast as. It means equal, at equal speed. Example, I cannot run as fast as a cheetah. A cheetah can run much faster than me. So I can say, we cannot run at the same speed. So I can say, I cannot run as fast as a cheetah. Let's practice. Can you run as fast as a cheetah? Very good. Me either. I cannot run as fast as a cheetah. Example, these are two brothers. They're not twins, they're different ages. But one brother is the same height as the other brother. So I can say he's as tall as his brother because they're the same height. He's as tall as his brother. Let's practice. Is he as tall as his brother? That's right, he's as tall as his brother. And she's shorter. She's not the same height. So I can use a negative and say she's not. She's not as tall as her brother. She's shorter. Let's practice. Is she as tall as her brother? That's right. She's not as tall as her brother. He's taller. They're not the same height. Example. The temperature today is the same temperature as yesterday. It's hot today and it was hot yesterday. So I can say today is as hot as yesterday. Today's as hot as yesterday. Remember, do not use so. I do not say today is so hot as yesterday. Use as two times. Today is as hot as yesterday. The same temperature. Let's practice. Is today as hot as yesterday? That's right. Today is as hot as yesterday. Now let's take a closer look at the difference between as and like. Today we're talking about the difference between as and like. So what is the difference? We use as when you're talking about the same person or thing. Example, I work as a teacher because I am a teacher. I cannot say I work like a teacher. Like means similar, not exactly the same. And as is exactly the same. You will move to the attic with Becky and work as a servant. Your work, your hopes, your dreams. Well, I work as a teacher, and I also do field work and write monographs. I used to work as a massage therapist, so... I work as a janitor in a bank you own. I want to interview you about what it's like to work as a maid. For example, when you say the same. Example, these houses are the same. But if I want to connect the same, I use the connector or preposition as. This house is the same as that house. I cannot say this house is the same like that house. Because they are the same, I use as. This house is the same as that house. Well, I certainly can't live in the same house as my ex-husband. Yes? It's me. The same guy as before. It was the same thing as catalog work. So? Failed marriages and... Ever worry we're doing the same thing as them? The same thing as last time. 
Everyone's happy. So you really think that you're the same person as Leon Trotsky? A real live father actually living in the same house as his wife and kid. Does tumor mean the same thing as cancer? I grew up in the same house as you, moron. Let's practice. Is this house the same as that house? That's right. This house is the same as that house. Example. He loves her. He loves her as a friend because they are friends. Because they are friends, we use as. He loves her as a friend. I was actually telling Preston that I, I just love him as a friend. Hey, I'm proud to have you as a friend. Nope. Sandy, you do love me as a friend. We're friends, right? I like you as a friend. Yeah. Look, that's right. I like you as a friend and all, but... No! Like, listen to me carefully. Okay. I love him as a friend. Yes, I love him as a friend. Like a brother. But that's it. Friend, brother, whatever. It makes me sick to think what I did. That my beautiful boy would want someone like you as a friend. Let's practice. Does he love her as a friend? That's right. He loves her as a friend. These two guys are friends, but they're very close, like brothers. They're not brothers, so I cannot use as, I use like, because it's similar, but not the same. He loves him like a brother. I cannot say he loves him as a brother, because they're not brothers. It's similar, but not the same. He loves him like a brother. And that big guy up front, I love him like a brother. Got the train, didn't I? Love you like a brother, Joe. I love you like a brother. You're more like a brother to me than he is. You're more like a brother to me than he is. And, um, Chris has been like a brother to me. He was kind of like a brother to me. He's been like a brother to you. I love you like a brother, Philip. I love him like a brother. Don't get me wrong, I love him like a brother. Just not one of them. Maze, I love you like a brother, but I gotta say that when it come to being discreet, you're a disgrace. We'll treat him like a brother. Tatiana's sister loves Trigorin like a brother. I love him like a brother. Let's practice. Does he love him like a brother? That's right. He loves him like a brother. We hear the pronunciation. He loves him. Loves him. The H in him is silent, so you link the words. Loves him. He loves him like a brother. They're not really brothers. Back to my first example. I said I work as a teacher. I don't work like a teacher because I am a teacher. It's like the same person, so I use as. I am a teacher or I work as a teacher. Example, she works. She works as a teacher too. Let's practice. Does she work as a teacher? That's right, she works as a teacher. And we have some expressions to help us see the difference between as and like. Example, if he works very hard, I can use the expression, he works like a dog. He works like a dog means he works very hard. And we don't say he works as a dog because he's not a dog. He's a person. He works similar to a dog. So we use like. Like is similar. He works like a dog. Maybe in your language you have other expressions, like he works like a horse or like a donkey. You can say that too. People will understand. But the expression in American English is he works like a dog. I, I work, I work like a dog, and I, where's the money, I, I mean, I don't know it. And I work like a dog, day and night, living off a of coffee from a pot none of you want to touch. Go home, get a good night's sleep, wake up in the morning, and work like a dog. Work like a dog all his life? Work like a dog and advertise. Especially manual labor, it makes you work like a horse. When I work, I work like a maniac. I know what you're thinking. American dogs don't work hard. They're lazy, right? That's true. But the expression comes from England. And in England, dogs work really hard. That's where the expression came from. So we use it in America. He works hard. You say he works like a dog. Let's practice. Does he work like a dog? That's right. He works like a dog. Another expression? He sleeps. He sleeps really well. If he sleeps really well, I can say, he sleeps like a log. This is a log, so you can imagine where the expression came from. He sleeps like a log. Or I can talk about right now. What is he doing? He's sleeping like a log. But it's a routine, every night. 
So I use the simple present action, he sleeps. It's a routine, so I say he sleeps like a log. He sleeps like a log every night. Luckily, I can count on you to sleep like a log. Don't lull yourself into any false security. I sleep like a log. I'm sleeping like a log. I sleep like a baby, my friend. I sleep like a baby. See, that's interesting. How did you sleep? Oh, like a log. In fact, I took a nap on it. Slept like a log. Don't look at me. I slept like a log. Like a log, Petey. Thanks. Maybe you have a different expression in your language. Maybe you say, he sleeps like a bear, or he sleeps like a rock. You can say that too. People will understand you. But we have this expression, he sleeps like a log. Let's practice. Does he sleep like a log? That's right. He sleeps like a log. He sleeps very well. He doesn't wake up. And we have an expression for this. Sweat. Sweat like a pig. If you sweat a lot, if somebody sweats a lot, I can say, they're sweating like a pig. Example, he's sweating a lot. So I can use the expression, he's sweating like a pig. I cannot say he's sweating as a pig because he's not a pig. He's a person. So I use like. Like is similar, not the same thing. He's sweating like a pig. Burning up. Sweat like a pig. Those goddamn lights made me sweat like a pig. I instantly started to sweat like a pig. Let's practice. Is he sweating like a pig? That's right. He's sweating like a pig. So remember, like is similar, but not the same. I work like a dog. I am not a dog. I work similar to a dog, so I work like a dog. But I am a teacher. It's the same person. I am a teacher. It's like the same. I am a teacher. So I work as a teacher. Use as when it's the same thing. And remember the preposition for the same. When I say the same, I say the same as. This house is the same as that house. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.